flood warnings and road closures in Lake County. People there are watching river levels. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross is live in Gurnee. Jeremy. And good evening. Yeah, neighbors here, no stranger, the type of flooding conditions we're seeing out here. As a result, you can see all the sandbags lined up in the area behind us. We haven't seen a lot of activity to get those sandbags, at least at this point in time, but only hours from now, all that could very well change. Of course, the conditions that we're seeing out here, the result of all the rainfall that we've seen in this county over the past week, the excess water adding to the Des Plaines River that's overflowing and leading to flooded yards and some home damage. Lake County fielding a handful of property damage complaints between homes and businesses, adding it all up, up to about 100 properties in this area could be at risk. Roads also a big concern going forward with the impact of floodwaters shutting down some travel in Gurnee. That includes Illinois Route 132 from Illinois Route 21 to a plain road, Old Grand Avenue from Illinois Route 132 to First Street, no plain road from Illinois Route 132 to Old Grand Avenue. Water on these roadways can stall out your car or prove deadly. If the water's over the road, you want to turn around and don't drown. You want to make sure that you do not go into waters that you don't know how deep they are. And you made mention about some of the dangers that could happen in people's basements, people's homes as well? Absolutely. You definitely don't want to go into spaces where you can't see the danger. You don't know what's down there. And if you do know things like electricity or natural gas, you want to make sure those services are, are cut off before you go into those spaces. Also a warning this evening to those neighbors living on the Fox River as well as the Chain of Lakes area. They could see increased flood levels there, possible property damage, possible road closures. Of course, all this could worsen depending on the forecast if rain is in the forecast in the hours ahead. Live in Gurney, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Jim. Jeremy, thank you.